Right, now we can go live. Now that we fixed that. That trivial little problem. Easy peasy. Technical genius over here. Chicka chicka what? Chicka chicka. Uh, chicka 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 chicka. I believe we're live now. Are we all good? Are we all running? Hold up. Hold up. Just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Is it coming through? Come on. Come through, please. I think that's fine. Everything seems all good. Hey, there we go. Welcome back, everyone. People of the world. We are back once again. Today, we're drawing characters again, like last time. I know we were drawing Ayaka last time. We finished Ayaka. Oh, excuse me. Drinking some Dr. Pepper. We're ready to draw our next character. So, today, we're drawing another girl. Not sure what her name's going to be. We're going to probably make up something as we go along. But what we want to do is, we want to get our neat pen and just get going, you know? Strike while the iron's hot, they say. And to make sure I'm more centered as well. That's quite off to the right over there. A nice big circle for the face. Bring it around like a so. Hey, Blizzard Death! Good to see you again. How you doing? You alright? Oh. Right. Hold on, hold on. Drawing a bit of a narrow face there. That's good. Right, we're drawing more characters again today. That's sort of our consensus. Not really sure what this character is going to be. I have a few, like a, a very rough few things that I drew earlier today. It's like a sketch. Uh, I ain't got any clothes planned like I did. <laughs> I know I didn't for the last girl either, but um, we'll get it eventually. We'll come up with something. I'm not like a big planner for clothes. I, I mainly just come up with something in the spur of the moment. Right, hold on. I want to change this about a little bit. Because I'm not liking the shape. But we can fix it. better it's not bad let's do some minor alterations here and there if it's just shape it up a little bit whoops Actually, as well with this character, I might draw a bit more of the body this time because last time we did a very head and shoulders shot. Uh, Want to switch it up, you know? It's always good to make sure that you're not just doing the same things. Make sure you're practicing all the different parts of the body. So we might bring some hands in this time, bring in more of the torso. Turn the music down a little bit, <laughs> just a teensy bit. 
Right. Whoops. There we go. Right. And this time we are going to... Whoops. I just added an extra layer. We are going to draw it from this side as well. So we're going to get a bit of an angular shot this time, which will be quite interesting because sometimes I'm really good at angular shots and it looks cool. And then sometimes they're not as good. <laughs> but you know what? It's worth a try. I like doing angular shots just because they add a bit more variety than always doing it head on. Right, so our girl has circular eyes. So as soon as I've finished just breaking up the lines just a teensy bit, we'll get on drawing some circular eyes. How's that for height? Uh, we, I guess we can always alter it about if it goes wrong. And then we want to bring it to a, a little jut point there, like so. The thing with circular eyes is sometimes they can look a little jagged. I know this is only a rough, but like, just want to make sure everything's nice and smooth that just a little bit. I'm not too happy with that, that shape round as well. So let's give it a little fix, shall we? How's all your saw stuff been going, Blizzard? You been working on anything interesting recently? shape that we made is kind of circular but it also has a bit of a triangle quality to it it's a bit strange so we should bring this bit down just a bit like so Pick it up and then there is a little bit of a point here that comes down like that there we go now I want to make this a little bigger since it's kind of just a tad small. Give me a set and press on the music. Okay. It'd be interesting to see what you've been up to. What fancy new projects you've been creating? I've been kind of lazy with my art this week because I've been all over the place. I had like a college trip to do and everything, so that took up like a whole day. It's pretty boring. <laughs> but it's done now. Right. So I won't have to worry about it anymore. Hmm. Right. We can fix this up a little bit, methinks. Just slightly shush the line like so. Right. this bit smaller and then just for perspective maybe just thicken this bit out whoa 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 that's way too much no 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 just thicken this bit out just a little bit though just a little bit more as it goes round and back through whoa no 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 we're getting like a weird clumpage now here 
strange clumpage. We don't want that. No, no, no. I might have to do some shim shammer just to make it a bit more neat. Mmm, yeah, I don't like how the... I'm, oh, hmm. I'm just thinking about how to go about this. We might have to do it from the inside, I'm thinking. If we just edge it off the inside, like this. Should hopefully make it look just a bit nicer. Because there is like an odd clump there. That looks a bit better. We still might have to bring this line out just a teensy weensy bit. But we can do that. Namos problemos. Right, before we start working around, um, try and put our iris in. Our iris? Uh, our poopal. Before we put our poopal in, just gonna try and get a rough sort of stance of. Let's so hold on. I think I've drawn the face still a little too big. So hold on. In comparison to the eye, at least. We do need to make the eye just a tad bigger. Come on, come on. Right, I should probably save as well. Or create a, sh a, a shave? Create a shave at the very least. Um, once again, I'll just call it girl for now. Oh, we would have a girl clip. Um, Name, 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 name. Uh, Suzuki. I'm not sure that's a girl's name, but it sounds cool. It's the first thing that came to my mind. So we're using it. <laughs> It'll do for now. God, I think that's the first time I actually came up with a name, like just off the bat. Normally it takes me ages, but I was just like, uh, name, name, name. You know, sometimes thinking really quickly and rapidly like that, just trying to think of something kind of helps almost, or it certainly did there. Maybe I'll do it more often, or I'll certainly give it a try. I don't like the way that this bottom eyelid falls either. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, it does need to curve back more in. So we just need to zhuzh it just a teensy bit. Should come down through and round. There we go. That's looking a lot more like the angle we're looking for. And then what you've got to be thinking about is this side of the face comes in. Because you've got the cheek and then you've got the little curb curve like so this is more like that because of angles always got to be thinking about your positioning i don't know how i feel about the side skirt on this oh wow that's really cool i like the colors quite nice the side skirt you mean like the little um the coattails almost, like the little flaps around the outside. I think they look quite cool. Cause it, it almost has like two layers to it. You know how um, you've got like, you could have like armor and then you've got chain mail underneath it. You've got like the short skirt around the middle and then you've got the side bits around the outside. I think it looks cool. I like it. It also works well, excuse me, with the long hair of the character. Excuse me again, go, I've got the gas. Uh, yeah. I really like um, the green as well on the halberd. Like, um, it is halberd, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, but it almost looks like energy. It's really cool. I like the armor too. You're really good with armor and stuff like that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, whoa, look at that. Talk about dynamic color. That looks dope, man. Ah. Oh. 
Wow. I like the depth of field as well, how you've like made the um, mountainside that's pretty close, like pretty blurry as well. That's really cool. Oh my god. That's dope, man. Try to ignore the blue. Oh, is that you filling in that guy? Yeah. Even so, man, that looks really cool. With the colors and stuff. I think you have, you seem to have quite a good knowledge of color. It's really interesting to see. Because, I mean, I like using harmonizing colors a lot just because I think that they create really cool effects. And I kind of like, I'm a big fan of gradients. And harmonizing colors are like perfect for gradients. But seeing like the very dynamic colors, it's really cool. Right, so we've got the head turned three quarters. So we are thinking about the size needs to be a little bit smaller, but we can change that in post, so it's all good. But we do want that sort of angling to come in about here. And then come around like here. Damn, we didn't have my laptop plugged in. <laughs> oh, wait, you got the blue screen of death. Is that what you're saying? Oh, God. Oh, that sucks, man. I've had that happen to... um. God, what did it, I think it happened to, uh, like, my Xbox or something like that, I can't remember. It happened to one of my consoles. It's, like, the most devastating thing ever. Hopefully it's okay. I'm not sure how it works with laptops. If it just means that it's permanently destroyed or whatever. Hopefully it just means it crashed. Right, how are these eyes looking? Yeah, this one is a little bit bigger, but like I say, it's fine. We, we can fix it in post. In fact, what I might do is now, for some reason it only happens when I Photoshop running on my laptop. That's really weird. I would have thought if anything, it's just because Photoshop's running and your computer can't handle it, but if it's because it's not plugged in, I have no idea. Like, maybe maybe it doesn't have enough power? I don't know, that sounds a bit... That doesn't sound right. How odd. It's always the way, though. There's always weird quirks of a computer. It's like today, my computer just randomly... Uh, like, I was about to get into a call with my friend to play some games. Uh, and it had been fine all day, literally all day my computer had not acted up, it had been perfect, audio was running out of it completely fine, and then all of a sudden, the audio just cut. And I was like, what? What? Like, and it had even been talking to me, and then it cut, which was weird. Uh, so I was like, what? So I was frantically searching about my computer, right, trying to find why, um, why the audio had just magically vanished into, like, nowhere. And it turns out it was this really like intricate little thing on my device manager. Uh, the second audio thing down, completely out of the way, and it needed updating. The computer didn't tell me it needed updating. The computer just cut my audio off. And I was like, oh, thank you. So awesome. You cut off my audio. And I had like no idea how to fix it. Whoops, why did I do that? I thought that I'd just delete it. But yeah, it sucks. I'm so happy I got it fixed, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have been able to stream today. <laughs> because when I came onto the stream today, uh, I just started streaming right away and I was like, hold on, there's no audio. <laughs> and then I realized it's because it's like reset all of my uh, audio jack stuff. So, because I, I normally record stuff out my speed, uh, my headphones, of course, because I ain't got no expensive stuff. I ain't got no microphone or nothing. I've just got the microphone from my headphones. Jesus Christ, can I not get this light? 
but yeah. So uh, that was really annoying, but it's fixed now. I think what annoys me more than anything is that my computer didn't tell me what it was. It just assumed that I would know. Like, uh, I did troubleshooting and everything, and the troubleshooting was just like, oh yeah, sounds like it's your problem, man. Your, your audio device isn't connected. So then I checked my audio device and it's like, not plugged in. And I was like, what on earth do you mean, not plugged in? <laughs> So it's annoying that it was such a simple fix. But yeah, computers act really weird like that for no reason. I really don't envy people who have to try and fix them and stuff like that. Because I just wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I did like a little bit of coding back in school and I wasn't that good at it. I had a friend who was like an absolute whiz. Uh, and he taught me all that I knew about it. Oh, sorry, I've just realised. Oh yeah, I didn't miss anything. Sometimes, because uh, I have my chat up on my phone, it's kind of hard to see when I have to renew it. But yeah, yeah. So all the coding that I learned was from him. So and, and that was barely anything. That was about enough to get me through the subject, and that was it. And I didn't get through the subject, I failed. <laughs> it was literally the only GCSE I failed. I was so devastated. Uh, but at the time, I didn't really care. I guess. It was like, I mean, at the same time, sorry, I didn't care. Because it's like, it was like, oh, I failed something. But then it was like, wait a minute. We had terrible teachers that didn't teach us anything. Uh, it kept going and coming. Coming and going. So... I mean, I don't care. So far, the only painful part of trying to be my elf is then how to draw the hands, the hair and the hands. Right, if you want, I can give you a tutorial on both now since it's, um, because I just remembered I said that I would give you a more in detail one if you wanted. Hair is something that like, hair is something that I used to find difficult, but now it's like a complete breeze for me. Uh, and hands, hands aren't really difficult anymore. But uh, I certainly wouldn't say they're a walk in the park because hands are weird, man. Hands have a strange shape. But okay, give me one second. In fact, I can even show you on this head model. Just let me uh, cut off. Actually, I'll just erase it. I'll just cut off this part. But yeah, hair is kind of easy once you know what you're doing because I was taught this by uh, one of my most favorite artists you can look him up Hiro Mashima he does uh, a lot of anime stuff uh, he did fairy tale if you know that but yeah um, the way that he taught me to do hair is well he didn't teach me but I saw um, some a picture that he did that did like a tutorial explanation basically uh, if you didn't know Hair has points that you grow from. I'm sure you, um, if you feel through your hair, you can feel a certain point on your hair where uh, your hair parts from, you know, like your parting. Uh, and your parting basically brings the hair down in specific directions, right? Like that. that, that would be a parting. And this point here, this is called the crown, right? So when you're drawing and you want to make something uh, look good, and look, hair look organic, per se. Uh, you draw a cross, well, you can draw a cross, this just helps, uh, and that's where your parting's gonna be, right? So for this character, it's gonna be in the corner, uh, and then what you do is, you basically, you can draw in any direction you like, as long as it goes outwards from this point. So let's say you want a bit sticking up, you could have a bit out like that, uh, you want a bit of a side bang like that, uh, you want a fringe, the fringe should come Probably, I've probably done that a little bit wrong, but the fringe should come outwards from that point, like that, and then maybe round. Everything basic, all the hair that you draw has to go back into this one point. So once again, I've done that a bit bodged, but yeah. So like, there you go. And then maybe if we to draw that round like that, draw my little eye. 
there you go. There's your character. You see what I mean? So that and that works for like that works for every hairstyle. So if we do a different one, just as another example, uh, let's say you've got curtains. Curtains is you know a good hairstyle to do it for because that's nice and easy. Draw you cross in the middle because the part of the curtains is directly down the middle, uh, and then normally outwards. So you can draw them. Whoops! 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 That was a bit thick. Draw it down like that, out, and down like that. So you can get yourselves like a, a trunks from Dragon Ball Z. With his angry face. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then of course the other, if you want to draw like outward bangs, you can like add more to the hair. As long as it sort of, you need to make sure that everything naturally flows out from that point. So from your point, you kind of go outwards like this, right? And you draw your lines in a curvy shape because hair, hair is basically, it moves in like in curves and flows. So it either, you, hair is never straight. Like you, you do get like straight, straight hair, but it always curves out of the point usually that it comes from its origin point, right? So it's like down where you can flick it up if you want, have hair like that. But you see how this line always comes back to its origin. So yeah, wouldn't you know that tip? Hair's just kind of easy. You just, um, you could draw hair from anywhere. So you could just like draw one bit coming down here, have like maybe a bit more of a, a curly mustache man, man. And he's got his little Worthington mustache. See? It's the same sort of, it's still curtains because he's still got the origin point there. His hair comes in like that, but it's a completely different hairstyle because it, it flicks upwards instead of the trunks that goes down, right? So it's really hairstyle. Once you know this little um, key of using the X as your origin point, hair kind of becomes easy, right? So, because you can just be like, right, I'm going to draw uh, from this point and I'm going to draw, I'm going to bring it outwards like that. And then we're going to bring it round. And around like that, yeah? Because then it's it's still coming. Oh, whoops, hold on. We're lagging a little bit. No, it's just it's saving. But yeah, see, it's coming from that point still uh, and going out. So yeah, hair is pretty simple for stuff like that. And like I say, you can, you can draw it either way uh, and then so long as it kind of curves back into that point, it doesn't really matter. See, that's that's a pretty good hair shape uh, for one bang at least. Uh, that's another thing. I'd recommend drawing hair in parts. I, I would never draw hair as like a whole shape like that and try and do it like that. Just because I'm, I'm sure you could if you're going for like a simplistic style, but I like to draw uh, line by line. So you kind of like 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 you get a sort of um a good sort of variety of shapes in there and it looks cool uh, and you got more time to think about it excuse me and it'll just look cool and unique and you can come up with all different types of hairstyles a good way as well uh, is maybe to get inspiration from a hairstyle so like look on you can look online uh you could even take reference from either yourself or an image or uh, like a, a character online, so like I'm trying to think of someone now that I could uh... hold on hold on, if I maybe get like a picture of uh... Uh... is he gonna I was gonna do Legolas from Lord of the Rings but he's kind of got uh, he ain't got too hard hair to do so you got like Legolas comes here and like he doesn't really have a parting because his hair's tied back. So with tied back hair, you can kind of just like, it, it will all still flow, right? It, it flows into one point, but now you've got to think where the hair is tied back. So the hair is tied back behind his head. So you draw across roughly where it'd be behind his head. Uh, and then he's got like, he's got a bit of a widow's peak sort of going on. So you got to draw the hair down and through like that. Uh, then the hair comes round. Always remember as well, there is a bit of hair just underneath the ear around this point. A lot of people forget that and it can be a little like, uh, it's a bit of an eyesore. 
but yeah, the hair comes around there, uh, around and like that, uh, round and through. And it's got this little bit there. And then, whoops, whoops. Didn't realize our razor was that big. But yeah. And then uh, you would also, you bring it out a little bit because it's not quite on level with the skin. And then, of course, it, it flows round and through out the back, like so. Once again, you would draw it from this point so it comes out and around, like so. Oops, whoops, too far. Did I draw that in the same frame? Or is it just lagging? There we go. So, yeah. Ta da! <laughs> He's got an angry face, like, yeah. But yeah, so you just, and then you, you can draw your lines on. I've, I've still got the headlines in, so it would look rough, but yeah, you could draw. So yeah, hair's pretty simple as long as you know what you do. It probably, it probably would have been easier if I had like uh, tied back hair into a hairband, so you could have like, uh, whoa, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, let's try it into a hairband or like a ponytail. Uh, say your ponytail's here like that so then you could have uh doing this from an angle now but the hair it was kind of like that so the curtain the main curtains point would be not curtain sorry the main part and point would be there anyway uh but it's coming around like that it's around like that uh but then this hair all draws back to that point See? <laughs> but yeah so that's really basically the basic of hair right just make sure you've got that you've got that cross point in and you want the hair to come from and then just draw lines going from that they can be rough to begin with and then just kind of go outwards from that point and that, that's the way to make your own hair if you don't want to make your own hair a good way that i also started is just go online find a ton of reference hairs just type in like uh, anime hairstyle or uh, drawing character hairstyle just Look at that and then copy that from reference and add that onto your character. If you uh, if you feel uh, uncomfortable doing it that way, because it can be hard, I know. Especially if you're starting off and you're like, oh god, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, alright, you wanted me to do hands now, yeah. So, hands, I think I went over them last time, they are a bit tricky. But I'll just quickly go over it again, so... Because I don't think I explained my way of doing hands. I explained the, the Pentagon way. But basically, my way of doing hands is probably a little bit simpler than the Pentagon. So you draw a curvy triangle like this. So you've got, you know, you've got your one, two, three. But it's better that it's curvy just because that makes it a lot easier to draw this outward line. And this will be... This is like the butt of your hand, right? This is the back. Uh, but you could really draw it anyway, you know, it don't really matter. Uh, and then you've got your thumb. So your thumb is three lines. So it's one, two, and then this line here, which is the harder one to add. But you want to, with this bit, you want to cu curve the circle kind of like, like that, like that. Because the end of your thumb, if you notice, curls backwards. So, you want to make sure, depending on the character's thumb that you're drawing and like the size of it and stuff, you want to be careful. But then this second little ridge after it doesn't really matter. You just draw a bit of a lump for that. Uh, uh, actually, that hold on, I've done that with dodge. This point does overlap down a little bit, and then this one's smaller because then you've got the big big old muscle there now i have drawn that a little bit down so you probably you, one thing with thumbs as well thumbs are kind of difficult to judge where they should be a good way to judge your thumb is look at your hands if you see with your thumb out naturally your thumb goes just beyond this line here so actually maybe i probably was in the right place honestly uh cancel where was it before? Yeah, I, I was pretty much in the right place anyway. I was just doubting myself because I'm an idiot. Oh, God, I've, I've goofed it. Hold on. Back, back, back. 
Okay. Yeah, so I was right. See, never doubt yourself. But yeah, as you can already see, the hand's starting to take shape. I mean, we're only drawing the thumb. Uh, but yeah, so then you draw in the back of your hand. So that comes out a little bit from your triangle. So just in case you didn't catch that, because I know I was talking, your line's like that. Take it out and then slowly start bringing in this bit here. Now this is the back of your hand. If you notice at the bottom of your hands, you have two little curves, right? So you have one where your thumb ends, like there, as your thumb comes back in. And then you've got another one on the other side, which is a little bone there, like that. So you want to draw that in, uh, just because these two kind of add closer to your hand. They, they work as lines, so you know when to add in the wrist. Uh, so you kind of just bring your wrist out from there, like so. Make sure to make your wrist not too fat. The wrist is really thin on the body. And then it comes out to the forearm, which is a lot bigger, right? Uh, but we won't go that far. So, yeah. Next with your hand, you've got... Right, you've got to think about as well. We've drawn this bit out a little bit too far. Probably should come in about there. So always make sure to be in reference as well. Of You can look at your own hand. That's what I'm using right now as a reference. So try and judge it off your own hand as well. But using this method really, really helps. So uh, another thing to notice about your knuckles as well is that your knuckles aren't straight. You can't, you can't draw. I don't know if I said this last time, because this is something as well that I found out pretty, well, I was reminded of pretty recently, is that you can't just draw knuckles straight and be like, ooh, this is a hand. <laughs> you can't do that, right? Uh, and a lot of people do. Uh, and, and it's really barely noticeable. It's more of like a subtlety, but your knuckles actually kind of go like that with that sort of motion. So with that sort of frame in mind, we're going to draw, try and draw our hands like that. So we're going to draw our one finger. Now, of course, we're going off the paper, but you can still kind of imagine where it'd be. So what I'll do is for the fingers at the top, I'll uh, actually, let's pull it down a little bit. And then we can add to it. Actually, this is a good time as well to uh, I can show you different hand positions and God knows what. That should be enough. I probably should have done this on a separate layer to be fair, but whatever, don't, don't matter now. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this on a separate layer, hold on. That would have been the smart thing to do in the first place, but I'm not very smart. Uh, cut and paste. Right. Let's get our hand as the main focus now. Since I'm teaching you a tutorial, I might as well teach you properly. Yeah. Because the hair was basically just giving you a little trick, but hands are a bit more difficult than just a little trick. <laughs> so, your fingers, uh, I think I mentioned this last time, but I'll say it again, just in case you forgot. Your fingers should always be about to that three quarter point here, with just a little bit of hand left. You don't want, they pretty much go to the full length. If it's the full length of the palm, it doesn't matter too much, right? Uh, but yeah, and then as you go up here, make sure as well to not make all the fingers straight. It's very easy to go like one, two, three, four. And I mean, if you, if you want to make them straight, then you can if that's like the certain position you're doing, but just give them a bit more life to them. So I've, I've made this one pretty straight. This one should, in theory, with an open hand like this, just come out just a little bit like that. Just because you don't want them going in the same direction. You do want a little, uh, little bit of angling for each one. Uh, hold on as well. Just so you know, there is, uh, this one's a bit thick, but uh, there is a big gap, or a bigger, should I say, gap between 
your middle finger and your ring finger. Well, there's not a bigger gap, but it's more like they're more separated in angle. I mean, once again, we're drawing them pretty straight on anyway, so it don't make too much difference. But. And then you've got your final finger, little pinky finger, smallest of the fingers. Now the pinky finger should come out and then there's a little ridge of skin. You might want to draw that in. There is a bit that hangs out over this side, just, just a teensy bit. Uh, and then once you've got your knuckles all lined up, and it comes round and down. You've got yourself a hand. Now, I have kind of drawn these not as good as I could have. They could, I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but I could have listened to my own advice a bit better. And they could have came in a bit more like that. That's probably a bit better. And then, but now this finger's too long. So look, I probably haven't done it the best, in all honesty, but it wouldn't take too long to fix if you're using it digitally and you have a digital software like moi. But yeah, there you go. There's, there's a pretty rough hand. Uh, and then if you want just a little marker, you can draw in like hand lines uh, and all sorts of stuff, right? But now, this is a good tutorial to teach you, actually. Hold on, put that back. Uh, you also got to think about finger positioning, right? So I just drew you with all the hands out, but I mean, all the fingers out, but let's say you want to envision a certain position with your hand, right? So when I think of this, the way that I do it, I learned this from here Mashima again, is really simple. Uh, Try and envision where the fingers would be and what position you want them in. So we're going to try and do like a finger gun sort of positioning. So envision where they would be. And same sort of thing. Just draw them over. But don't draw them quite as long. You might want to do this with your hand just to notice. So the finger gun position kind of goes sort of like this. And then this finger's pretty close and like that. But it comes up a bit and it's like that and curves around uh, and then your pinky finger comes quite a bit in and up like so and then it's whoops <laughs> and then it's like that right so there you go there's easy quick little position uh, and you can do that with I mean that works with all the fingers right the, the, you can do all kinds of different positions with that so yeah that's probably that's a good tutorial on the base hand so i recommend you start with that uh, and if you want to do different positions then it's basically just the same sort of thing right so um let's say you're uh, drawing it from an angle you would draw your thing but if you're if you want to draw it from the frontal position or like coming up to the front. I think last time I showed you, this is how you draw it from head on, right? So that's directly head on, but that that's also from one angle, right? So uh, let's say you're drawing it uh, like that. You can like have your fingers in. It's gonna be really rough, but like you could have your fingers come down like that. I mean, it's all really just a matter of thinking where things happen and then, you know, your thumb would come around here like so and then go down there this is this is really bad but like <laughs> you know what i mean it would this is just like a quick little show and then that comes through like that you've got the wrist down here uh, you can also draw in the knuckles but yeah it's basically just about 3d placement right that is hands you, you just got to take what I taught you with the the one two three rule, uh, and then everything that I showed you to branch out from there. Take all that, uh, and then try and apply it on a three D basis. Now that's a lot harder. I'd recommend you building up with the two D, and then do it like that, and build up to it. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, rush into stuff too fast, right? 
especially if you're not ready for it. So start with the 2D, I would say, and then work your way up. So yeah, just try that method. Right. Let's get back to the main attraction. But yeah, if you ever need any help with anything else, just say. Because I'm not a master of drawing, but... I know a thing or two that might be helpful. Just drawing our rough eyes. Ooh, I like that position. Let's do that with the other eye if we can. So, yeah. Thinking about probably here. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, that's going to sneeze. We're all good. We're all good. But yeah, I hope that was a good enough tutorial for you. I'm probably not the best at explaining stuff, but. It's sort of roughly how you do it anyway. My methods aren't exactly the best, but they work. They work for me. I think that's the thing. It's just finding what works for you, really. Because chances are... Oh, hey, Roxina. How you doing? Welcome. But, what was I saying? Yeah, chances are um, what works for me might not work for you, right? Oh, that's all right, man. Like I say, if you ever need any help with anything else, just say. But I'm probably not the best person to ask for tutorials. Unless it's faces. I feel like I can do faces pretty well with all the practice that I've got to do. But hands and stuff, man, I can completely see why they stump you. Because they stumped me too for like ages. It's only really now that I kind of get them. Because I've had a lot of practice. I think that was from where it was. I'm trying to gauge where I'm placing that was. Because I was imagining how the hand would work on a female elf. Right. Yeah. I should probably explain that as well. Uh, so, kind of hard to show in art sometimes, but um, a little subtlety is masculine hands are, of course, if you want to draw a character with masculine hands, you want uh, a bit of a thicker triangle. You want it to maybe be a bit bigger. Uh, if you notice, masculine hands pretty square, so they're like they're rough. They're bigger. They've got more squareness to them they're more like they're more polygonal right a, a very like stereotypical manly hand will be very square whereas if you're drawing it on a female uh effeminate hands in our are very like proportions are whoa that's a little bit too thin but yeah they're, they're basically they're thin uh, a bit more delicate a lot more softer, rounder edges per se, as opposed to your polygonal as they come through. So yeah. So that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure that uh, if you want your character to be more like effeminate, then just be making sure that they've got more round, rounded features like more rounded softer hands whereas masculine hands are big and hard and rigid but if you want them to be like a tough and strong female warrior then you might want more like 
strong like polygonal hands but i wouldn't make them too polygonal just because it wouldn't look too right because you have got to factor in the fact that no matter how hard you take it males will always have masculine features and females will always have feminine features right that's kind of like standard rule Unless you're drawing a transgender character and then it gets probably a lot more complicated, but I'm not really the expert to ask about stuff like that. Right, so just to check, if we draw like rough pupils in. See, I, I know where I want the pupils to be. Oh yeah, that's not middle placement, is it? Come on. There we go. Yeah, that could work. If we draw it, oops, 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 oops. Draw them like that. And then she's looking up. <laughs> it's that mouth placement. Ooh, like half out the face. A little, ooh. That's a doofy ass nose, but yeah. We'll work it in. Is only a rough. God, I spent 50 minutes on a rough. To be fair, I've been doing the tutorial. That's why um, that's why we haven't made much progress today. It's probably better that I teach you that, to be fair. Then I can show more art skill than just drawing faces all the time. But to be fair, hopefully with this drawing, we will be getting around to more... Uh, more than just faces, we'll be drawing more of a fuller body with this one. Because, <laughs> I mean, once I've got all my characters done, I'll, I'll probably make, like, a handful of them, like, five, five or six or something like that. And then, once I've got them all done, I can, like, draw them in different scenarios and stuff like that for you guys. So, uh... You can be witness to that. Which will mean... Oh, that's a confused eyebrow. That's not what I was going for. I drew it too low. But yeah, um, I'll be able to draw them doing like, like watching TV or like going out to the park and stuff like that. So I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to draw them in actual scenarios with like full body shots or like mid shots. I'll be able to bring some film stuff that I did in as well. So that my film A level isn't for nothing. But yeah, that, that's kind of like the ultimate goal with these. It will just give me some like chill comic like stuff to draw for you guys. And making characters is fun and cool. And I can create personalities for them and God knows what. Oh. Make sure that nose ridge follows the eyebrow. That's another little tip for you as well. Uh, if you ever want to know where to place the nose in an angled shot, your eyebrow always follows the line down, like so. So let's say you want a, a big Squidward nose. <laughs> that is actually hideous. But yeah, you follow the line down and then you want to draw like a hook nose or you want to draw like a maybe a more curved nose. You don't have to draw the full line per se. You, you can draw as much as you like, really. You could, like, do, like... I feel like that's a pretty standard nose. If you want to draw the nose like that, it follows it through down. Uh, or a lot of the time, I just draw, like, a line. Especially for girls, just because... Uh, I don't know, it just looks better. Girls have a lot more subtler features than guys a lot of the time. Yeah. So sometimes it's just better to draw more subtle, more subtle nose to fit. Let's just shim shim with that eye just a little bit. Just to make sure. Yeah, that, that works. Me likey. Right. Hold on. No, that eyebrow is not in the right place. I, w I was not thinking perspective with that. I was thinking stupid. Clearly. Oh, God. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? That's a bit better. And then the face is curving around that side. Perfecto mundo. Not bad for a rough. Right. Um, and now for the hair. So we did do a rough draft of the hair. We'll see how translating it goes. And as always, I'm going to do this on a secondary layer. Just because... Uh, I don't like drawing hair on the same layer on a rough. Because if it goes wrong... And you, and you want to erase something, you goof everything up. And no one wants to do that. Oh, this is another thing I should mention about hair. This is a good little hair tip to add to the tutorial I gave earlier. Do not make parting in your hair too low. Because if, you, if you're drawing your parting down here, you've got to be thinking, unless you want it to cover the face a lot, but it, as the hair comes out, it's going to be like covering your face. Whereas... If I draw the parting up here, it will come. I can bring out the hair. Oops, whoopsie daisy. If I want, I can bring out the hair and go like shum shum shaboom. And I can make it cover the eye if I want. Or I could do like a little thing in the middle. Maybe have like a little bit covering it. Bring it around like so. See what I mean? I mean, that's pretty small hair. You would like, you'd bring it out a little bit. Probably more than that. But yeah. So just make sure you're considering how high you want your hair to be. Don't draw it too high as well, because I see a lot of people who draw characters, whoa, yeah, like that, basically, where they have, like, th their faces down here, and then they have, like, giant, giant hair bits there, like that. And it does not look good when there's so much hair here. I think um, Akira Toriyama, especially in his earlier days, was a sucker for that, because he would draw, like... You'd draw Raditz, and this would be like Raditz's face. It'd have like, it'd be like Angry Magoo, but like, I'm Raditz. Uh, and then it'd have his like little, it'd have his Widow's Peak thing going on and all of his hair sticking out like that. Uh, but his like head, it'd be like more like that probably. And it'd have like, his hair would come out to here. So it, it, it would be like so unrealistic. It, it just looked a little strange. I am HO. But it, it was something that he kind of grew out of when, um, as he improved as an artist over Dragon Ball's run. Right, and then we're going to bring the hair out like that. Ooh, this is another quick little hair tip for you as well. Uh, try not to make the ends of the hair too chunky. See how this bit is pretty chunky? You don't want that at all you, you want it to just kind of nicely thin out um but not be too thin as well see that's a little too thin if it starts big and it ends thin quickly you know you've done something wrong so try and try and get like a nice gradual reducage if you can uh, whether that means you have to shabam around with the hair like we're gonna have to take a little bit off me things we might have to add like a, a back layer to it as well. Oh, wait, that's on the other layer. There. Or what I might do is I might bring it out and then gradually build it down for that. So, uh, that's too far. Too far indeed. But see, this is what I love about hair. You, you can. As soon as you know the little parting trick, you can essentially make your own hair up, right? Because I, I used to use a lot of references for hair. I would like take one from like an anime drawing and I'd be like, wow, this is so cool. I'm creating another character from someone else's hair. But when I look back on it, it's not exactly the best thing to do because a lot of the time it just looks like you stole their hair. And if it's like a really iconic hair or something like that, it looks a little obvious what you've done. Plus, uh, maybe it's just me, but I don't really feel very proud of myself if I've stole someone else's work. So, like, when I when I found out how to actually do it, it made me feel like so much more prouder of myself that I could actually like, well, I could actually draw hair. And now I can draw my own like original hair for characters.
I'm drawing hairs from. And the, the great part about hair is that you can improvise with it, right? If it's not going too well and you don't like how it's going, just improvise. Just shim sham around with it. You thought it was going to be long hair, looks better short. Keep it short. Unless you want to try and work around it to make it long again, then do that, of course. But I'm a big fan of just kind of going with it. So I think that's kind of the miracle of art sometimes, you know? It's like you, you want to make one thing, but then lo and behold, you can end up making something that was even better than what you set out to make. Uh, right, let's have a look. Our hair is too thin on this side. And ha how can I tell that, you ask? Well, that's because it doesn't look right. Sometimes things just don't look right. And hair should always come out to a certain point. When you're thinking about 3D perspective, it should come in a bit like that. Uh, another little note for partings, if you want, you can draw the top of the hair into the parting, like that. Uh, if you even want to show your part in, you can have like a line running where you branch the hair out from it, or uh, you can have like a specific point. Like I know some characters where they have um, their crowns and their partings have uh, like spikes coming out. For example, uh, one of my favorite characters, Natsu from Fairy Tale, uh, his part in is uh, he has hair. Hold on, now I've got a drawing uh, or like a little chibi. He has like hair that works like this. It's like uh, it comes down on his front like that. And then he has like a little part in that's shown here. But he has little flicky bits out there. So if you want to draw it like that as well, because his part would be there. See the lines come down, oh, voice break. <laughs> and then the lines go up like that. And then they, uh, they come out here and here. And he's got like things going all over the place. And he's like, <laughs> but yeah. So if you want to draw parts like that, you can. If you want to draw hair flicking out. I know that I certainly like it. I don't use it that much just because it's hard to, I feel like it's hard to use it without it just looking like Natsu essentially. But uh, it certainly is fun. I did it for an old, uh, like a little manga that I was going to make. The main character that I made of that had some, like a part like that. But then I realized that he looked way too much like Natsu and I was like, yeah. They don't really want this. Well, I'm not just smoothing the hair out a bit as well. I don't like how angular it is. So we are gonna just bring that in. And eliminate the angles as much as possible by making the hair a bit longer. Uh, and just getting rid of this part, and curving it in instead. There we go. That's a bit more, a bit better. And hold on, now I've got to... Just, oh god. What am I doing? Oh, hi, Bunny Burns. How you doing? Welcome. Oh. We just drew our new character, Suzuki, that I named on the fly. Pretty proud of myself for that, because I'm never able to name characters just like that. But lo and behold, I actually did it. Right. I need to get this hair right as well. I, don't, I still don't like how it's angled, so we're going to just bring it down a bit more. Oh, thank you, man. Let's go. But this bit isn't looking good, and I don't like it. So we're changing it. <laughs> <laughs> I will fix it. I get super hung up on stuff like this. But sometimes it's like, I know it's sometimes not good to focus on like little details because they can bring it down. But, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I know it's only a rough, but sometimes it's better that you get it right on the rough. You know what, actually? Looking back on it, I like it like that. We're keeping it like that. No changes. Right. So now, uh, she has like a, a hair is pulled back a bit at the back. 
So she had the front bit and then we got like a little uh, bobble, like that. So we'll just draw a rough little placeholder for now. Can always make it a little better later. And then we've got our shower. Mm. I'm thinking if I draw it too big, it might look a little princessy, and we don't want it to look princessy. So let's just uh, hold on real quick. I'm just going to check the chat hasn't overflown again because it did it again. You guys can't see it, but on my phone, like the chat only goes to a certain point and then it just stops. It doesn't like scroll down with it as well. So I have to like quickly refresh it and go off it just so that I'm making sure that I'm getting the messages from you guys. Cause otherwise you can be saying all sorts of stuff to me. I would never know. And that's not exactly fair. Cause I like talking to you guys. So I hear about your escapades. Your creative escapades. Right. Oh yeah, here's another thing as well. Don't always make sure your hair's straight. Another little, uh, and is it a health tip then? A little helping tip for hair you don't always have to make it too straight because you've got to be thinking hair isn't dead straight unless it's gel or like uh i don't know maybe if it's wet it would be a lot more straight but uh you got hair like this it's going to be a bit more wavy so it just adds a bit more life into it if you uh draw it with a bit more motion Oh, excuse me. God, I got gas today. But yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, like I said before, just so you know, just in case you, you didn't get this bit before, uh, always draw from the point where the uh, ponytail is. And that's how the hair flows from that point onwards. So forget about where the parting was. The parting before was here, right? Or around that sort of point. Uh, we ignore that now because we've moved past that point. That is in the past. lower it a little bit because it looks a little unrealistically high or it looks it doesn't look right I'm gonna just lower it down a, a notch oh god welcome. I've messed it up there we go just pull it down just a teensy bit maybe angle it a little bit inwards as well remember because we're dealing with perspective here you got to think about it's going to be behind our girl as well behind suzuki right considering time i think that's probably just going to be best if we finish off uh with do, doing a little rough of the face uh, and then i'll probably end up doing the rest tomorrow oh because I know that we spent a lot of time doing the tutorials today with um, hair and hands. So I didn't really manage to get very far, but it's fine. I think it's quite cool that I managed to do that. It's like I'm, I'm your little teacher. I'm honored. And plus it, it gives you guys a bit more like variety as well. So I'm not just uh, sat drawing characters all day long. Oh, that does not follow the flow of hair. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Might just uh, cop out a little bit and draw it like that. Nah, it doesn't look too good. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. 
maybe down like that. And that that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, but it's going to have to have a bit more, like, you know, to go for a bit longer. There we go. That works. Right. I'm happy with that. And if not, if it, if I change my mind tomorrow, when hopefully tomorrow we'll work at a bit more of a breakneck, a break, a breakneck pace, so that I can uh, get on to doing the neater version for y'all. Yeah, I'm liking that this is turning out so far. Let's uh, just clean up the face just a little bit. Oh, we can merge the layers now that we've finished the hair. Um, give it a little uh, shibinga shibanga. Ta-da! Right. And then just a quick little save. So we don't lose our progress. I might just uh, realign the pupils as well. I know they're only rough. Rough little pupils. I just wanted to make sure. They were kind of similarly aligned. Mm. Shh. Yeah, this one should be a tad higher, I believe. Yeah, that'll do for now. Still a little bit low, but I'm not sure if that's just because it's not as big as this one. Oh, no, no, no. One more. God, I'm so picky with stuff like this. I'm going to come on tomorrow and completely forgot I've done it and then I'll either move it down one or you know what I like that let's keep it like that for now uh. oh whoa, whoa. I wanted to draw little highlighted points just to make the eyes look a bit more organic for now because they look a little snaky without any highlights yeah, but we don't want that big second one either. We want to maybe go so that's better. Sometimes you don't want big lighting, you just want little subtle and lighting. Subtler? Is that a word? More subtle. More subtle lighting. I don't think subtle is a word. And I'm not really a big fan of that second light source on there. I think I might just do like the little uh, points at the bottom of the eye, reflecting the light. But they, they come with colour and shading anyway, so we're not doing them now. No, no, no. Give a little there. Uh, little shim sham shrews on either side. That nose, I'm going to have to curve it a little bit. It's kind of straight. Nah, it doesn't look too good curved. Let's keep it straight. The eyes are looking in different directions. God damn, I knew this would happen. Now I'm going to be super picky. I'm just altering really minorly. Uh, I don't think that was the right fix to make because that's pretty centre. I mean, I know it's not centred downwards. We can maybe move it down a bit. Maybe that'll fix it. I hate how picky I am with eyes. No, because that's looking central. We don't want it to be looking central. It's looking off. Yeah, that, I think I might have goofed when I moved it up too far. I knew this would happen. <laughs> oh, no, no, actually, hold on, hold on. Let's do more this way. I think this one needs to just be a teensy-weensy bit. I don't know that I've drawn the highlights on there, so I can't really see. We can always draw the highlights on again. Yeah, see, the eyes look fine. Oh, I'm just being an idiot. 
Now I have to draw the highlights back on. From the same light source, please. Not from two random points on the eye. One. Oh. The, the eyes still look wrong and it's pestering me. You know what? I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it. Or, you know what? I'll just add on the highlights later in post. Then I can make them look more fancy anyway. Yeah. What do you think of that one, drawing? One nil. Oh. I swear I'm such an idiot with stuff like this, right? I'm gonna end up moving it back to where it was in a sec. care if it's wrong no questions it's fine it's fine we're leaving it like that <laughs> otherwise i'll be fixing it all day the jawline could probably do with being a bit uh, more round as well so let's let's do this as the last thing and then I'll, I'll leave it for today since we've got at least the face done and that's progress in my book And we can always do a ton tomorrow. I might do a bit of a longer stream tomorrow. Just so I can get more done with you guys. For you guys. With you guys. I'm not sure if doing that just like screwed the jaw. Did look better before. No, it didn't matter, didn't it? it looked way too skinny and bad. Looked dry. <laughs> looked like a face had gone... <laughs> you know, like, when you pull your face in too much because you're dehydrated. Like, the, the cartoon dry. Right, so we're going for those more rounded features. Uh, she is a female, and that's how it works. Right. And then I'll just right, and there you go. That's a good rough for today, I think. We'll leave it there. Oh, big stretch. Ah, oh, yeah. I like where Suzuki's headed, and I managed to actually kind of stick to the rough that I made. Kinda, yeah. And I like how she turned out. The eye's not exactly right, so we'll probably end up changing that when I do it uh, more neatly, but we can get to that when we do. I like how the perspective's gone. I think I've managed to stick to it pretty much. I might... Oh, hold on, actually. Maybe being picky. I am just going to, real quick, before we leave, bring the hair in just a tiny bit. I know it's rough, but uh, hold on, just don't matter too much if it's a little rough. Just looks better. There we go. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me again. It's been nice. We started on a new character and it didn't turn out badly. She turned out all right for now. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. 
Bye, guys. Bye.